Hi everyone and welcome to this most recent Sunningdale School news video. In today's video we're going to catch up with Alexandra from Down Syndrome Northeast. We're going to check in with some of our amazing children learning to walk. We're going to hear a little bit about our recent pre-formal approaches to teaching children with profound and multiple learning difficulties conference. We're going to make a brief visit to our recent multi-skills competition. And we're going to drop in on some of the activities that have been going on in and around our pre-formal, semi-formal explore and semi-formal play curriculum pathways. So recently we had a visit from the amazing Alexandra who dropped off this fantastic book from Down Syndrome Northeast. But I'll let her explain more about that now. I made this book for Down Syndrome and this book means to me that it's a lot of people who have an opportunity to have their picture taken and we made this as a book to every single school or primary school across the country and I am a model in this book and um, so I am really happy and proud of it. So yeah, this is a book for you and enjoy. Thank you very You're much. welcome. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. For anybody that hasn't seen the book, there's a copy of it, look at me, in our foyer outside of reception in school. One of the amazing things is that three quarters of the way through the book, there's a short spread featuring our very own Archie. Elsewhere in school, we've had children making massive progress with their physical development, and we're gonna just catch up now with Sophia and Oliver whilst they practice some walking. Good girl, Sophia. Big steps. Just over a week ago now, we held a national conference which was attended by over 100 delegates, including teachers, leaders and parents, that was themed around the idea of pre-formal approaches to teaching children with profound and multiple learning difficulties. It went really successfully and we were lucky to have some nationally recognised experts in teaching children with profound and multiple learning difficulties to come and present here at Sunningdale. We're just going to share a few pictures of the conference now because on the day footage was taken for producing a documentary that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Just the week before that, we also hosted a short multi-skills competition with East Harrington and Farringdon Primaries, where our pupils led a series of activities for those visitors to take part in. It was a fantastic day. We don't have much footage of it because we don't have permission to show the primary school pupils, but our own pupils did a fantastic job and the feedback they've had was phenomenal. So one of the things that we're gonna do in this video now today is check in with some of our curriculum pathways. The first pathway we're gonna check in with is our pre-formal pathway, and we're gonna visit some children from the giraffe class who are taking part in some attention-based activities, working on anticipation and requesting. Ready? Steady. 
Um, so at the start we were doing a tension bucket, um, our pupils are working on anticipation and the excitement of getting something that they really love and within that then they're doing tracking skills, tracking from left to right, up and down, which is pre-reading skills, but also looking as an object has moved out of their eyesight, do they realise that it's still there, do they realise they can request more um, and get that object back. And now what are you going to do? And now we're going to do some choosing with symbols. Um, our pupils all have an individualised communication pathway. Um, these pupils are working at a symbol level, so they're choosing between objects and symbols with what they would like to play with. Ready for bubbles? We're going to pop over now and drop into a small group from our semi-formal play pathway who are taking part in a Lego therapy session. A session based around developing communication and interaction it's skills. It's got one dot and it's orange. So a piece with one dot. In this session we've got pupils from a mixture of classes, specifically the seahorse and dolphin classes. It's got a point on it. Brilliant. That's just so a point on it. No, that's the wrong one. It's got pointed. It's all... And you need two of them. No, that's the bit. Lego therapy or brick therapy works around the premise that you have to collaborate no. with your peers to yeah. be successful in yeah. building whatever yeah. model you're trying to make. Each child takes on a different role, whether that be the engineer, the supplier or the builder. And, put the and they must listen to the each other and communicate effectively in Turn order to build the model correctly. Now, on where? On top of the. Sub it! And it's pointing down. This way! Look at that bit. Well done, Riley. Nose! It's a nose. Oh! Did he go on that? Right? No. Our finished lion. So we have used some really good listening. We have followed instructions from our friends Me. to find the blocks. We've used some good description. We've described the colour and we've finished our lion model. So our Lego up. rules, what do we need to do at the end? Tidy up! We need your help tidy up. Tidy. We're going to move now from the semi-formal play pathway and our Lego therapy session to drop in on some children in the semi-formal explore pathway taking part in an attention autism session. Sometimes you'll hear people referring to this as bucket time or bucket and we're just going to drop in now and have a look at one of those sessions. In this session we've got children from the Fox class and the attention autism approach works specifically around the idea of an awareness of others, giving attention, listening, switching attention, and really specifically giving in shared attention. In my buckets, in my buckets, in my buckets, I've got something in my buckets. 
I wonder what it is. <laughs> Next, we're going to move to another short session in our semi-formal explore pathway. And this time we're going to have a look at Jay taking part in some supported signing in our sensory integration room with his teacher, Francis. More. More. Roll, 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 gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roll. <laughs> so for our last little drop in session or rather drop out session we're going to join the dolphin class in our semi-formal play pathway as they build on the work that happens in our in-school shop, the Sunningdale shop, which we showed you in the last video. Well, our children in the dolphin class have been building on that. They've been incorporating road safety and a lot of elements of their independence curriculum and the independence subject area. And they've been traveling to Morrison's in Doxford Park and working out where to buy things that they want to bring back into school, how to find them, where they might be, how much they might be, and applying the skills that they've developed in the Sunningdale shop to the real world. And what they're going to build on from here is developing their use of money and buying the things they need from Morrison's to bring back to school to take part in their cookery sessions that also form part of their independence curriculum. He's Well, we hope you've enjoyed that short video and checking in with classes across all of our curriculum pathways. So we want to remind everybody that we come back to school on Monday the 17th of April. So Monday the 17th is the first day of the summer term. We break up for the half term on Thursday the 25th of May. Well, that's it from us for today. We hope you've enjoyed this short video and we'll see you all after Easter. to our par like the parents of the children that come to Sunningdale School. You can say whatever you like. Have fun, learn better, and just be yourself. <laughs>